What is going on YouTube is Flopfish here and welcome to an NHL 14 hot tips and trick video and this is by far the most helpful video you'll probably see ever into making more pucks because we're talking about exponential increases in pucks and it's been how I've been making pucks in this game since it came out since the first start of the weeks and uh, hit the market and it's honestly such an overpowered method that I decided, you know what, after using it for so long, um, I decided to share it with you guys and um, show you what it is. So you're going to notice here, uh, we have a few players up here at by nows, and there's nothing really significant about them. Uh, the 85s pluses only go for 6.5k, and these guys all go for um, 5.85k. But what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're actually going to buy the Tudin at 7k. And most people would be like, why? You can't profit off of him. You can't do anything with him. He's 500 bucks. You can get a contract for cheaper. Why flop? Why are you buying him for this amount? Well, we're going to, I'll show you how pretty much is <laughs> how it's going to shake down. Uh, so we bought him for 7k. Now let's keep this in mind. So let's go ahead and let's send him to the active roster here. Now, what we're going to do next is, since I don't have enough for Tongay right now, um, we're going to go ahead and go to training. Now we're going to reset the parameters here and we're going to select skater because we need some skater consumables. And we're going to go to 150. So we could pick up these for 150, but for the sake of arguments and not going into your trade pile and taking them out and just doing it all in one trip, I like to buy now ones at 100 pucks um, just because you can do it all in one shot here. So. Uh, let's just buy some for 100 packs. Let's buy. He has th two trading slots or three. I believe he has two, but let's go ahead and let's buy a few. So let's buy about eight of them um, just to make this easier on ourselves here. And let's buy a couple more here. Um, all right. And these ones should be good enough after we get past these ones. Again, a lot of you are probably calling me crazy for buying these at 100 pucks why am i buying them at 100 pucks why am i not selling them it's because i can make a lot off of these and um again this is just such an easy easy way i'm actually shocked no one really there's a few people that caught on to this method but no one really um other than that knew about it and it's amazingly it's amazing how shocking it is like um because it's such a simple method so we're just going to send them all to my collection so there's about 10 here or so um yeah there's exactly 10 and the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to go pick up some captain's cards now this is where it can get a little bit tricky because these can be a little bit expensive but for time's sakes we're gonna set it up and it's actually a good time to buy them because they're only at 350 pucks so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna buy a couple here um let's see there's a few players on the market so let's buy let's buy three of them i already have some anyways and i already have an assistant captains but for 200 pucks i will definitely pick that one up because again, I will show you in a few seconds why they are so effective. And so let's go ahead and let's assign them all to the collection here. Um, again, I am on my PlayStation account. I can't do this on my Xbox account because I cannot buy now a card. Like I said, EA kind of nerfed me. But um, yeah, so anyways, ooh, player of the game, Yager. That's kind of a beast card. Um, yeah, so that is uh, what you do. You buy your players around 7K or so. Um, for the 85s and 6.5 to even 6.75k for the regular ones and you just go on here you see how many training slots they have he is two so what we're going to do is we're going to apply a training card to him now notice his quick sell we'll go into his quick sell first of all um, and 6.5k so let's go ahead and let's apply one skater consumable to him and this is where it gets crazy um and this is why I love doing this so much. All right, so we put one skater consumable on him. And he now quick sells for 7K. 7K and 25 pucks. So right there, that is 25 pucks over what I bought him for. But of course, I bought a consumable for 100 pucks. So let's go ahead and let's put another training card on him since he has two slots. And let's see what that does. And so let's go ahead and find the consumables here. Again, I already know what it does, but just for the sake of you guys finding out, um, we're going to see what he quick sells for, and boom, 7.375k. Right there, I can quick sell him, and I made a profit. I made 175 packs more or less off this um, because I bought him for 7k. I spent 200 on consumables, so I'm making 175 packs. Now, a lot of people are just like, oh, this isn't an extreme amount yet, but again, um, if you put one more on, 
If he has three slots, it puts another 175 pucks onto the quick sell, which increases it, obviously, a lot. And um, ultimately, that's if they have three plus training slots, and it only goes up to three. So your first training slot adds 525 pucks. Your second one adds, I believe it is exactly 350 or so. Or, yeah, it's three, yeah, it's 350, and then your third one adds 175. Very, very easy and good method at making pucks right there, right? It gets even better because you saw me pick up some captain's cards and this is where, why I generally don't run a captain on my team is because I apply this captain's card on him and you're going to notice something about his quick sell right away that your draw is going to drop at. So remember I picked up the captain's card for 350 pucks or so. He now quick sells for 8.4k. So let's recap this. Spent 350 on the captain's card. Spent 200 on the two consumables, that's 500. Spent 7k on him, that's 7.5k. Making 1.5k off of him. This is how good this method is. And a lot of people really, really wanted to know how I made pucks. They thought I was collection um, uh, swapping and stuff like that. Nope. I found a way to do this legitly. And man, it is just, it's unbelievably overpowered. So let's go ahead and let's actually go and buy. Um, let's see, first of all, you gotta see if there's any ending on auction soon. So let's see here, uh, we got nothing any soon. I mean, we have the Voinov. So the Voinov would be a great example. Um, I'd love to get them, but a change team card adds 350 pucks onto their quick sell as well. Um, so again, very good, very good price there if you can pick them up for around that. Um, and same thing goes with goalies, you just can't put the captain's card on them, but anyways, um, so you pretty much just search for your players, it works for Hut Live, Movember cards, and Hockey Fights Cancer cards, and generally what I do is I set the buy now for 7.5, or 7k or so, um, cause you'll see the most there, I'll actually go to 7.2k, cause again you'll see a little bit more here, and you just look, so 7k, you cannot profit from him, even if he's a goalie, the max you can get from a goalie off quick sells is 6.9k, um, and he has two train slots so again camp I think you could slightly profit from there um, the Krug you could slightly profit from Torres you could as well because of the captain's cards but um, and it's just it's just such an overpowered method if we put it up to 7.5 even because if there is an 85 over or 85 and up uh, so capitals on Fleischman regular team Florida this one he will quick sell right now for 6.85k He's got two training slots, so I am pretty safe in buying him. So let's go ahead and let's buy him and pick him up. Just so I can show you that how much a train or er, change team card increases him. So let's go ahead and let's look into this. And boom, 6.85k. So again, I need to make up 700 pucks, which I slap a captain's card on him and I've broken even. And this is really effective, not only for getting more value out of your packs you get, uh, you also get more value um, from the market from your free packs because don't forget you have free packs and when you have free packs um, you kind of <laughs> You kind of have those skater consumables and stuff and now you guys know why I tend to kept keep them over contracts Because I can make a ridic ridiculous amount from them So um, an assistant captain's card gets you a plus 700 pucks on him But for the sake of profiting the most you want to buy captain's cards there will be times where you can only buy them for like 1k and stuff like that and even 700 bucks and at that point I normally don't. But again, let's put all this on Fleischman here and again, we're going to see 8.775k. So I'm making about roughly 1k on him or so, which again, big profit, huge profit. Um, and we're going up, we, almost, we went up nearly 1k right there just from that. Um, which is silly, we actually went up like 2k from that after buying them all. And again, you guys can see why I'm in love with this method and why it is so overpowered. Um, it's really something that I wanted to share with you guys. And again, it is the most effective way of making pucks here. You can do it with any card, uh, Movember cards. Um, you can do it with Hockey Fights Cancers. Uh, regular cards, it only increases it slightly. So um, it's just something to keep in mind. Again, this is how you can also use your free packs to your advantage here. But let's look at the 7K range and... Again, Movember cards seem to be priced fairly well on PlayStation, and Hockey Fights Cancers have gone up in value. But again, nothing really major here to shake an eye at here. Um, Applicator has three. I'll show you guys just what he goes for with three, because um, I've shown you with one. I haven't shown you with three. 
And again, not a good deal on him at all there. I mean, I'm still going to make about 600, 700 pucks off him, which I guess depending on how you look at it, is a quite an insane amount of pucks. Um, it's better than using the 59-minute mark. It's better than any other method there is. It's just it's something that I can go back to and, hey, look, I need to get some pucks. He only sells for 5 point, quick sells for 5.85K. Average on the market goes for about 6.5K. Well, you know what? I can pick him up for that price, and I can profit off of him. And I've been doing this, like I've said, I've been doing this for a, a long, long time. But again, you saw he sold for um, 5.5, 6.9K. So right here, we're down about 400 bucks or so. So let's slap that captain's card on him. And again, we're about we're making about 300 bucks or so, all said and done, after purchasing everything. Isn't bad at all. The captain's card, again, adds 1,050 pucks onto it. So we'll quick sell him, and again, you're going to see our puck total rise up. And again, that's kind of how you do this, and that's how you get the pucks. That's how I got my pucks for packs and everything, and that's how I built my team. Uh, most of my team is actually built from trades and packs. But anyways, guys, that is all she wrote on this. Hopefully this helps you guys make some pucks in the game. Um, share it around. Do whatever you want with the video. Um, hopefully, hopefully you enjoyed it. And as always, take it easy and peace.